In this video, we're going over how to use the OnePlus N100 for beginners. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Tap the notification bell as well so you'll be alerted every time we post new videos. Also, make sure you follow us on Amazon um, with the link below. Our Amazon channel, we go live and share best tech recommendations. Today we're going over how to use your OnePlus in-series phone. We're going to walk you through all the basics. So after this tutorial, you should know how to navigate your phone, download apps, send text messages, and make phone calls. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I want to go over is just a quick tour of the phone and all the buttons. So on the left side of the phone here, you will find your volume up and down right here. On the right side, you will find the power button. Now, but just by tapping this button, we'll put the phone to sleep and then it will wake it up just like this. Now, if you do want to power off the phone, you will need to hold the power and volume up button at the same time for one second to bring up this menu. And then you can tap the power button right here to turn off the phone or tap this button to restart the phone. Now at the top of the phone, you won't find anything, but at the bottom you will find your charging port, which is gonna be a type C charging port. So type C, and then you will find a traditional auxiliary headphone jack. So you can plug in your headphones to listen to music or to take phone calls. Now, if you do wanna put a memory card in the phone to expand the storage, all you'll need to do is grab this little tool out of your box. It's called a SIM tool. And on the, the very top left side of the phone, you'll find the SIM tray. And there's a little hole that you're gonna just put the SIM tool in and push, and that will allow you to pop out the SIM card tray to put in a memory card to expand the storage. All right, now let's move on to the main screen of the phone here. So uh, in terms of navigating the phone, uh, there's th three buttons you will need to get familiar with. The first button is gonna be the, the back button here then the home button, and then the recent apps button. Now we'll start with the back button. The way this works is if you were to go into an application, for example, we're in the settings right now, and let's say you tapped on display. If you wanted to go back one screen, you can tap this button that's called the back button, and it will take you back one step. So it's a very easy way for you to navigate menus and different things because when you're finished and you want to go back, you just need to, again, find that back button to take you back one step. Now, if you've hit the back button multiple times and you're, you're in the main screen of an app, if you tap it again, it will take you home. Let's see, there we go. It will take you home. So just know that it, it will take you back one step, but if you keep hitting it, it will end up taking you back to this screen, which is called the home screen. Now in the middle here, you'll find what is called the home button, this little circle. And no matter what app you're in, let's say I'm in the internet, Google Chrome, and I wanna go back to the home screen, I can tap on this little circle and it automatically will take me back to the home screen. No matter what you're doing, whether you're in the camera, in a call, reading a text message, whatever, just hit that home button and it'll always take you right back to this screen. So that is your home button. Now the button on the right is gonna be called the recent apps button. And this button will show you all the apps that are currently running on your phone. If you'll notice, we just opened up messages and then we hit the home button. If you ever open an app and you hit the home button, it doesn't close out that app. The app is still running in the background. So you would need to come to this third button, the recent apps button to actually close the app. So if I wanna actually close out messages, I would hit the recent apps button first, and then I would swipe up, and that would actually close out the app where it's no longer running in the background. And I could just swipe up, and I can close out all these other applications that are running as well. So that's an easy way to just clear out, uh, one, to see what apps are running on your phone, and also to close any apps that you know you're not using. So those are the three main buttons you need. Now, uh, the next thing I wanna go over is called the um, notification panel, and this is when you swipe down 
from the top of the screen. So just to demonstrate, take your finger, go to the very top of the screen and just literally just swipe or drag down the screen and that's gonna pull down this menu that's called the notification panel. In here, you'll get different alerts from different apps that are downloaded on the phone. Uh, for example, uh, normally I would see different emails, new emails that have just come into my email address. A text message would show up in here or if you download a new application, that would also show up. So um, this just kind of keeps you in the know of what uh, is being communicated to your phone. And if you want to go to one of those communications, you just tap on it and then it'll take you right to that application. So you can see exactly what happened. Now, a few other things happen in this section. At the very top of the screen, you'll have what are called switches. Now, these switches control different functions on your phone. They're basically like shortcuts. They help you get to really important sections of your phone in one tap. So currently we have the Wi-Fi switch, we have the data switch, which is if you have a SIM card in, that shows up there. Bluetooth, your flashlight, uh, screen rotation, and the battery um, battery saver mode. Now, if you wanted to go to any one of these settings, you just need to put your finger on it and hold down for one second. So let's say I wanna to go to Wi-Fi, I put my finger on it and just keep it there for one second, and it will take me to the Wi-Fi section of the phone. This is also how you would go about signing into a Wi-Fi network. You just need to swipe down from the top of your screen, find the Wi-Fi icon, and then hold down on it to get to this section. And now you can see all the different Wi-Fi networks available. Let's say you wanted to connect to my spectrum. You would simply tap on it and then it would ask you to type in the password. You'll notice your keyboard just came up and you can now start typing in the password um, to get into that Wi-Fi network. So that is that. Now, some of you guys might have swiped down from the top and maybe you didn't see Wi-Fi up here. If you didn't, that's okay. You can swipe a second time to see more switches that are at the top of the screen. You can also swipe left to see uh, another row of more switches. So these are all different shortcut switches that you can use to get to, again, different um, important settings on the phone. If you wanted to turn on the night mode, you could just simply tap night mode, airplane mode, battery saver, they all work the same. Just tap it to turn it on. And if it's lit up in blue, it means it's on. And when you're ready to turn it off, just tap and now it's off. Just that easy. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our next section, um, which is apps. Now, if you are on the home screen and you swipe up, this takes you to what is called your app drawer. This is the section where you'll find all the apps that are installed on your phone. You can go up through this list to see all the different applications, super easy. But let's say you wanna download a new application. Maybe there's a game that you wanna download or something like that. You would need to go to what's called the Play Store. The Play Store is where you go to download anything and everything for your phone from an application to play a game or a to-do list app or uh, a game, a book, a TV show, it all kind of, it, all those downloads happen in this app. Now one important thing to note, some of you guys might have tapped on that little icon, the Play Store, and your phone might have taken you right here. Now others of you may have tapped that and it didn't take you here. You guys might see a screen that says, hey, please sign into your Google account. Now, if you haven't signed into a Google account, you will need to do this before you can move forward and download anything on the phone. It's just a requirement from Google that you have an active Google account signed into the phone. If not, you're not able to um, complete the full setup of the phone and download applications. So uh, what you need to do is either, you should see a little box. Again, it's gonna look different than this, but you just tap in the box and you input your Gmail account or Google account and password. If you don't have a Google account, you'll see a button on the left side of the screen that says create an account. Tap create an account, answer those questions to set up your account. And once you finish, it will take you to this screen that will then allow you to download applications. So 
That's just a disclaimer for those of you that may not be seeing what I see right now. After you follow those steps, we all should be back in the same place, which is in this app, which is called the App Store. This is where you download applications. So let's say I wanted to download a Sudoku app. I would just tap in this little box at the top of the screen here that says search for apps. And I could just type Sudoku. I can probably spell it right, that'd be a good idea. Sudoku. So I typed it in, I hit the enter button to search. And now I have all these different apps as options. And let's say I decide I want to download this one right here. I'm gonna simply tap on it, and then I'm gonna tap install. Now one important thing to note, that little green button that says install, if that button says anything else, for example, let's just say it says 99 cents, that's the app's way of telling you that this is not a free app, that it is a paid app, and, um, to hopefully help you, you know, make sure that's the app you wanted to download. The last thing you want to do is download an app you didn't mean to because you only have a 10 minute grace period to uh, remove it or you will get charged for it. So just FYI there. So when you download an application, um, we're currently in the Play Store so we can see the progress, but when it's done, I can hit play from here and go right into the app or I can use my home button to go home and then I can swipe up and look all the way down the S section and there's my new game, Sudoku. Really easy. So that's the really easy way to pull up um, the app once you have downloaded it because it is going to save in your app drawer section. Okay, so now that we've gone over downloading applications and the basics you need to know there, next we're going to go over how to make calls and send text messages. And we'll start with text messages. So at the bottom of your home screen, you'll see the phone app or the dialer and the messaging app. You're gonna tap here. And from here, if you wanted to send a new message, you first have to tap on this little uh, dot in the corner and that helps you to start a new message. So we're gonna tap here and then I can put in um, I can put in a phone number to start my text message. So I'm gonna type in a phone number here. So now that my phone number is entered, I can simply start typing my message. Hi, how are you? Okay, once you type your message, you're gonna hit this button to send out the message. Now, you have a few other options too. You can come to the left here and tap on the plus. And with the plus, it will allow you to uh, add more pictures, take more pictures, add a voice recording, or also um, add some other collaborative option that shows up in this section. So, you have a few different options of things you can send. The main thing I often, often hear is, how do I send a picture? We will just hit the plus and hit, um, go over to the second option here because there's three options down here, go to the second one. And now I can share a picture I've already taken from my gallery. At this point I can hit send. And then I am ready to send this message. So I've got a picture here and I've got my text. That's how easy it is to send a text message. Now next, if you want to make a phone call, you do need to go to the blue icon on the bottom left here and um, tap on this little uh, button here, which is called the dialer. And here you'll enter your phone number. So I'm going to enter the same number as before. Let's see. All right, phone number is entered. Um, and that's how easy it is to make a phone call. Now, if someone calls, you should see a green button and a red button. Always tap the green button, and that's basically saying, I do want to play, put me in your lineup, and that's always a good thing. So, there is that. The last thing I want to show you is about taking pictures. So, you do have a camera app at the bottom of the screen here, and you can take some really nice pictures when you go out and have some fun with it. Um, so super easy, you're just gonna tap on this white button right here 
and that's what allows you to take pictures, the white button. I can come here and I can tap on video and now I can hit this red button to start recording a video. So there's that. So a few different options there. All right, and that's about it. So we just went over how to make calls, how to send text messages, how to answer the phone as well. You're gonna see that green or red button and green means answer, red means decline. And that's about it guys. We just wanted to go over the basics. We wanted to really simplify this phone. Um, great phone, but you definitely need to understand the context of how some of the buttons work in order to set yourself up to succeed. So I hope you guys did find this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.